You know when something comes along and just simply absolutely changes the way you think, changes what you once knew was possible, like when Apple first launched the very first iPhone, it began this smartphone revolution that we take for granted today. Well this week, I came across a WordPress plugin called Assistant that honestly blew my mind. Now depending on how excited you get about WordPress, an up and coming plugin release may not be on the same scale as a smartphone revolution, but it's still innovation and I simply love it when innovation wins and I think you're gonna love this. Hey, I'm Ryan from Hello Hudson. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time, welcome. This channel is all about sharing tools and tips to help you build better and smarter websites. Please consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you're notified of new videos. If you're someone who builds website after website after website, you come to realize that there are a lot of repeated tasks that you need to somehow systemize and improve your efficiencies. Even if you're new to WordPress, there are some things that seem unavoidable like having multiple tabs open so you can flick back and forth between the front end and the back end of the site to check settings and changes that you're making as you build out your websites. Well, let me introduce you to Assistant. This little plugin is being actively developed by the team at, wait for it, Beaver Builder. But don't let that put you off. I'm Team Elementor all the way, but these guys do state off the bat that this is a standalone plugin that can be used with any WordPress installation on its own. So now that's out of the way, let's look at what Assistant does. So here's the description direct from the WordPress repository. Assistant is a new way to work with WordPress. It's an everyday productivity tool that lets you navigate your WordPress site and handle quick tasks without needing to go to the WordPress admin area. So it also mentions here that this plugin is an early release. So if you're gonna give it a go, note there are bound to be some bugs. But even in these early stages, this thing is phenomenal. They're also stating that the full release is scheduled for later this year. But some of the features they read here, which are just amazing. Access the assistant UI from any front end page. Get a glance from your recently edited posts and comments on the dashboard app. Quickly find posts, pages and custom post types with the content app. Upload media to WordPress media library by dropping files in the media app. The comments app lets you reply, approve markers, spam and trash comments. Add custom labels to posts and pages to help organize your site while you work. There is so much to unpack here. So basically what they're saying is they're supplying you with a bunch of apps that let you control your WordPress website from a little sidebar wherever you are working in your website. So front end, back end. And because of this whole app ecosystem that they're building, it opens it up for other developers to create apps that can control other plugins wherever you are. But let's talk about what I love about this plugin so far. And other than honestly being developed by Beaver Builder, but not being only for Beaver Builder users, I think this is just so cool. I love the clean, simple integration that works from front end, back end, and even for me, works in Elementor. And even though there are a few things that are a little glitchy, it still is a great help. Being able to quickly access your media library and upload images, edit the metadata on the fly of those images is such a cool feature. It enables you to be able to update, edit, view, and duplicate any page, post, or custom post type on the fly. But going back to the initial thought of productivity and systemizing, this whole idea of adding custom labels to your content as you work and helping you to quickly see what you've completed, what you're currently working on, and what you have yet to do is such a brilliant concept. And to top it all off, there's dark mode for those of you who have to cover your eyes when you encounter a system with the traditional UI. I think, however, the real power with this is the fact that they are developing an API and this is where those apps will begin to shine, that other developers can develop an app and they can build tools that will expand this even further. So I'm hoping Elementor, for example, will create an app that will integrate their edit with Elementor or even access templates from wherever you are on the website. I really am just so excited about the possibilities that this does open up. So if you've had the chance to check out or play with Assistant yourself, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are there other unsung tools that you've come across that you think possibly should be getting more attention than they currently are? I'd love to hear about them. So if you've enjoyed this, please give this video a like. And again, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. 
Thank you again for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.